Buckingham Palace broke from protocol regarding the Queen's health and revealed what the monarch was suffering with in an effort to calm the public. A royal editor explained. Vanity Fair royal editor Katie Nichol explained how Buckingham Palace broke its own rules on revealing the status of royal family members' health following the Queen's recent cancellations. Ms. Nichols said the palace would have wanted to make clear the Queen's visit to the hospital, which prevented her from visiting Northern Ireland, was not related to her current back sprain which saw her cancel her appearance at Remembrance Sunday services. Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter also commented it was a big deal for the Queen to miss the services as she would be the last monarch who lived through the Second World War which had symbolic merit. Speaking on the Royal Beat podcast, Ms. Nicol and her fellow panelists discussed the Queen missing out on Remembrance Sunday due to health concerns. She told the show, she was resting at Sandringham and she obviously has sprained her back because the palace made it very clear to us. Which is unusual, I don't think they wanted conclusions jumped to that this episode that resulted in her not being able to be there on Sunday had anything to do with her hospitalization, so unusually, we were given a fair bit of detail. Ms. Nichol added. The public was still unaware how the Queen managed to sprain her back. Buckingham Palace kept information tight during Prince. Philip's hospitalization earlier this year and gave very few updates on the situation. While it was revealed Prince Philip had received surgery on his heart several years ago, his subsequent hospital visits were kept fairly secret. At the time, Buckingham Palace said Prince Philip was in hospital as a precautionary measure where he would be subject to observation and rest. Mr. Arbiter, who was also on the panel, remarked the decision not to attend Sunday services would have been incredibly difficult for the Queen. He explained, the Queen would have been incredibly disappointed to not be at the Cenotaph because she looks upon the Cenotaph as important as her Christmas message. It's very important to her as the last head of state who served in uniform in World War II to be seen at the Cenotaph. The Queen was forced to cancel a trip to Northern Ireland on health advice and spent the night in hospital for checks. A few days later, Buckingham Palace revealed she would not be attending COP26, but instead would deliver a recorded message to attendees.